Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. I'm doing another Swiss Dragons of Tarkir Fate Reforged draft. Uh, earlier today I just uh, posted this second playthrough video for my board game, Travelers of Storia. I'll have the link up here so you can take a look at it. This time it's a two-player game and two of my friends are playing it. So um, I know that there were some people that wanted to see what the game was like multiplayer. So uh, I made the video for it. So check it out. I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys about that. On to the pack. Just going to slam a Silumgar Assassin. This card's great. Very good card. Hopefully I'll remember to morph it since uh, they changed the order of cast face down or cast. Since Yeah, I'm having a real problem uh, with that, but hopefully I won't run into that this draft. Other than that, other good cards in this pack are like Tail Slash, Enduring Victory. I like Stormcrag Elemental, Minister of Pain. Definitely some other good ones, but the rare is pretty awesome. All right, well, pretty easy follow-up, I think. We're just going to slam this Deathwind, which is good removal. There's also a Silmgar Butcher, Dutiful Attendant in black. Um, I like Seismic Rupture. I like Sandcrafter Mage. I love Colian Aspirant as well. All of these cards are good, but Deathwind just seems like the sort of obvious good pick. Okay, next pick. Well, staying on color is not really an option here. Marsh Hulk and Reckless Imp aren't quite good enough to third pick. I'm looking at, I think, probably Silumgar Sorcerer. This card's really good. Uh, I mean, good white cards in here. Dragon Hunter. Dramoka Captain, Enduring Victory, all three of those are good. Uh, I think Silumgar Sorcerer is probably the better pick. It's a really versatile card. Um, it evades. It's got a counter spell built into it. It's got flash. I mean, it's really tough to deny all of the awesome features of uh, Silumgar Sorcerer. So I'm just going to take that here over the next closest pick, which, I don't know, people say I undervalue Dramoka Captain, which might be true, but I still don't think the card's that insane. I think it's a good card. I don't think it's like an insane card, but I'm definitely going to take Silmgar Sorcery here, see if that pans out for us. Okay, so best card remaining in this pack is probably... Well, There's to be honest, there's nothing super exciting. I'm okay to just taking a Sadisi's Faithful. In black, there's Skirmisher and Sadist, both of which are, are fine. Um, there's nothing that's worthy of going into... A color other than blue or black here. Um, I'm fine taking the Faithful. I, I like this card. It's good. I like that it can be a blocker um, without the exploit in just certain aggressive matchups. But otherwise it can, you know, be a nice way to get rid of an aura or get rid of a creature with a bunch of plus one, plus one counters on it. And other than that, yeah, Skirmisher and Sadis aren't uh, too terribly exciting. And Zephyr Scribe has been... A little bit lackluster in this format, but it turns out having to pay one to loot is really not the same as looting. Okay. Um, here, I think I just want to take Ojitai Summons. There is an Ambuscade Shaman. This really isn't an, a deck for it. And uh, Grave Purge Sadist aren't that exciting. There is an Evolving Wilds, too, which would be actually an okay pick in my mind. It really helps to splash for... Um, like if, if I do end up, it looks like I'm, I'm likely going to end up just playing blue black. Um, but taking an evolving wilds here, I, I can play it regardless of whether I end up in three colors. Like even if I end up just blue black, evolving wilds is, will still be useful. And it's just nice to have one when you want to branch into three colors. But Ojitai Summons is certainly strong enough to pick over evolving wilds here, I would say. All right, now we have, I think, probably just Anticipate. This is a pretty useful card. Um, I really like this card a lot. Next closest is probably, I guess, Skirmisher. But once again, it's not really a deck where I really want to play Skirmishers. And Reducing Stature is playable, but overall pretty mediocre. Uh, Scale Guard Sentinels is probably the strongest card in the pack, but pretty happily taking Anticipate there. All right, it's a fairly late Coat with Venom, which is a really nice card. So I'll pick that here. Next closest, I mean, there's Deadly Wanderings as well, but I'm not a huge fan. Um, it's a hard card to make work. I lost to it really early on um, in Dragons of Tarkir Limited, but I 
haven't really encountered it much since then. And I've tried to build a deck with it before, but it, it's kind of difficult. You have to have a low creature count to really make it, you know, get some use. And, of course, the problem with that being a low creature count deck is, is tough to design and make effective. So let's take Coat with, Vona, uh, Coat, Coat with Venom. Very good. Ooh, a very late Ruthless Deathfang, which is an excellent card. So pretty happily picking that up here. Um, other than that, nothing too exciting. Wandering Tomb Shell I could consider. It's playable in a deck like this, but never exciting. Summit Prowler, very good card. So is Strong Arm Monk. And Custodian of the Trove is something I could definitely consider in this deck too. But yeah, we're, we're definitely slamming a Deathfang there. All right, Minister Tabling is really a great sign, actually. It's on color, and it's got a really nice effect against certain decks, like the heavy Dramoka Warrior or Dragon Fodder decks. You know, you can really cripple them. And at worst, it's a 3-mana 2-3, which is perfectly acceptable, too. Other than that, there's a Contradict in here. Reckless Imp isn't very good in these decks. It's playable, but you really want to be able to block when you're in blue-black, so let's just take Minister. All right, Dutiful Attendant is pretty much exactly what I'm looking for since we've already got three um, exploit guys. Uh, so Dutiful Attendant's just going to be really useful for that. Other than that, I, I wouldn't mind taking a Contradict or a Negate, but I think Dutiful Attendant is a little bit too much of what we're looking for to pass. Uh, all right, I'll take the Marshall. It's not great, but to me it's more exciting than the Reckless Imp. Um... Once again, I just want to be able to block, and Marsh Hulk's nice also because you can just end up paying 6 mana and get a 4-6, which is a, actually a pretty good body in this format. Or you can morph it and, you know, hope to unmorph it at some point. Alright, I'll take the Carsey Sadist. I'm not too excited about it. I could take Virulent Plague for a sideboard, but there's really not a lot of token builds. And the problem with it is it kind of kills my own Ojitai summons, which I don't like. So I think I'll just take the Sadist. There's a chance we run it. Not a very good one. Uh, all right, I'll take Mystic Meditation here. I don't mind having a card draw spell. I don't think I'm very likely to play it. I often don't. Here I'm just going to take the Shriek to cut black. All right, I would say a pretty successful pack one. We got some good removal, and we got some good uh, exploit cards. So... So good creatures, everything really was good out of that uh, out of that pack. Um, okay, not a terribly exciting first pick here. I mean, Ambuscade Shaman is clearly the strongest, but it's not what our deck wants. I think we're just going to take Defeat, which is a pretty mediocre removal spell, but um, certainly good enough for what we're running and a very good chance it makes our main deck, so we'll take it. Wow, past a Harbinger of the Hunt. Certainly the strongest card here, but we're definitely slamming Vulture Saven, which is pretty much exactly what we want when you're in blue-black. Um, hope to table the Shambling Goblin, which is a pretty excellent exploit uh, creature. And just, actually just a really good creature for our deck, since it comes down early and really punishes, uh, you know, X1s. Like, Dromoka Warrior is the one I'm thinking of in particular, but it's really nice against, like, uh, Sandstep Outcast and stuff like that, too. But I think we, we really can't pass a Vulture save in here. It's too good in our strategy. Okay, next pick, and what's this one do again? Oh, it's for face-down spells. Yeah, it's not really what I'm looking for. Draconic Roar is certainly the strongest card here. Very good uh, removal spell. I think we're just going to take the Shambling Goblin. Um, I mean, I could take Draconic Roar and hope to splash for it, which is okay. Three damage for two mana instant is good. Uh, but, I I mean, our deck kind of wants the Shambling Goblin. And there's a chance we table it. This, this pack's actually pretty deep, but I'm just going to take it. Wow, Cobra is here is insane. Unfortunately, it's in the same pack as Flatten. I mean, it's only unfortunate because I want to play both the cards. I mean, there's also Spell Fist and Monument. I mean, essentially, this is our pack. This is this is the pack that had everything we want in it. I can't really justify passing a Flatten uh, as much as I love this Cobra. I really do think Cobra is an excellent card. But Flatten being instant speed removal, I think, is just too good to pass up. 
Um, this is interesting. Kind of a weak pack for us. Uh, I, I don't really think I'm going to need a second Marsh Hulk, and I still am not really on the Reckless Imp bandwagon. I think I'm going to take Negate. Not a terribly exciting pick here, but something I can certainly main deck, and uh, is nice to diversify my deck a little bit, get some access to, you know, a bunch of different spells. Okay. Here I'm fine taking Hand of Silmgar. There's also a Bloodshin Rager, but Hand of Silmgar seems more in line with what we want to do, mostly because... Uh, Death Touch is, is just so nice. Ojtai's Breath, not not exactly what we need in this deck. It's it's a great tempo card. And Bloodshin Rager is more of an aggressive uh, beatdown card. But Hand of Silmgar seems like a pretty excellent pickup for us. No Palace Familiars, unfortunately. Which could come back to haunt us a little bit, but we'll find out. I'm fine taking a second coat with Venom over the Custodian. We're a little bit creature light, but we do have Ojitai summons. And I think we'll manage to pick up enough creatures out of pack three here and be fine. And Coat with Venom is just just an excellent combat trick, so we'll take it. Uh, kind of a miss here, so I think we'll just take the best card, which is probably the o or the student of Ojitai. I don't really need a glint for sideboard, so all right. Um, I'm actually fine taking a Contradict. I think there's actually a decent chance we end up playing Contradict, too. Uh, it's nice to have these counter spells. Like, now we have Negate, Silmgar Sorcerer, and we'll have Contradict. So, um, when played in conjunction with our other instant speed spells, like Anticipate or Flatten and Deathwind, it's really nice to have, like, removal or, uh, card draw effects that are instant speed. That's actually another reason to not play Mystic Meditation in here. You really want your card draw to be instant speed. Okay, we can take a second Faithful. I think I'm actually more in line. I'm, I'm like more okay taking a second Shambling Goblin, I think. Um, one Faithful's probably enough for our deck, and having plenty of exploit fodder is just really nice. So, Shambling Goblin. Just another way to, like I said, buy time. Wow, some late red cards that are good. I think we're going to hate the Dragon Fodder, which, even though I guess it's not that great against our deck because we have the Minister of Pain and double Shambling Goblin. Hmm. Maybe I'm more concerned about the Summit Prowler. Okay. I guess I, I talk myself into it. Um, we can take a second negate just in case we need it. This time out of sideboard. Ancient Carp. I would hope I don't have to play it. In fact, I think I'm just going to hate a Berserker for that reason. Uh, we'll let our opponents play Resupply. I don't think it's very good against us. So, pretty, pretty good looking deck. Really want some more good exploit fodder out of this last pack. I wouldn't, you know, honestly, I guess our deck needs some more finishers too. Wow. Well, I can't really justify passing a Soulfire Grandmaster. It's worth tickets. In fact, I, I gotta look that up real quick. It's still worth four tickets, so pretty happily picking that up. And yeah, the good news is we're not really passing anything I, I care about here um, that's on color. So it's kind of just like a free four tickets for us. Okay, well, Colagan is probably a justifiable splash, um, but there is Sultai Emissary. I was looking for finishers. Colagan certainly is that. I'm just trying to think if I need to. I, I You know, I honestly, I don't need to splash. Like, Sultai Emissary is just very good for our deck with the... Uh, exploit creatures we already have. I'm just really going to want to make sure I have enough of these guys. So, um, yeah, I think we're just going to take the, the Emissary here. Over the Lotus Path Gen. Yeah, it'd be nice to table that, but we'll see if it happens. Okay, now we have uh, Typhoid Rats. We also have Hewed Stone Retainers, which in our deck actually might be really good. We have fa we already have five one drops. Hewed Stone Retainer could be pretty good for that. Uh, but Typhoid Rats is also very good. Hope Maybe we hope to table the Hewed Stone Retainer. I think there might be a better shot at that than tabling the Typhoid Rat. I also wouldn't mind tabling Enhanced Awareness. I think this is a great deck for that with all of our counter spells. But I think I'm just going to take the rats. Having Death Touch is just really nice.
All right, Executioner is some removal, and actually seems really good for us, so I'll take that. I think the weakest card right now in our deck is probably Carsey Sadist. I don't really like that card, so I think we can cut that for a Merciless Executioner, get a little bit more removal in here. Okay, so um, there's a second Typhoid Rats. I think I might just want the Enhanced Awareness here, just make sure I get it. I mean, there's a pretty good chance we table it, but just in case we don't, this looks like a deck that really does need some card draw. So Enhanced Awareness, I think, is going to just be the pick. And I think the weakest card for us now, at least main deck, is probably Negate. Not that it's weak, per se, but it's more of a... I think it's a better sideboard card, especially since we already have Contradict and Silumgar Sorcerer. But I'm definitely taking Enhanced Awareness here pretty happily. Wow, second Executioner? It's pretty awesome, actually. I mean, granted, there's some matches where it sucks, but... Actually, I, I might want the Surveyor. Yeah, I think actually Surveyor is more in line with what I want. Um, just the creature plus bounce effect is just, just really nice. Great way to buy time. I think the card to cut for that is probably... Maybe the Faithful. Could actually be the Faithful. I think it is. It's not that Faithful's bad, but just not exactly what this deck needs. All right, Hooded Assassin and Sultai Skullkeeper are actually pretty mediocre cards for this deck. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the Backwater, make our mana a little bit better. Um, I could take Swiftwater Cliffs in case something tables, but, it's, well, it's not like Coligan's going to table. I'll take it anyway in case there's a red pick that comes up. Like Cunning Strike, probably not worth a splash. Uh, I don't really need Ancestral Vengeance. I think I'm just going to hate uh, Soul Summons, which can be good against us. All right, Ugin's Construct tabled, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, this card is actually pretty good. It's a pretty efficient beater. And I do have value uh, graveyard guys. I th I, I'm certainly going to take it. I just don't know yet if I'm going to play it. All right, we did table the Huge Stone Retainer, which is actually really nice. I think Huge Stone Retainer is actually an excellent card in our deck. Uh, just because, like, for four mana, we can, you know, play a Goblin plus a Huge Stone Retainer. We have, like, a low enough curve where I, I think we can actually pretty easily play it. So I'll take it. And we got to actually come up with some cuts for this deck, which is interesting. Maybe the Contradict's not going to make it. Um, Tasker's Cruelty is like a fine sideboard card. And Neutralizing Blast is probably not necessary. We already have all the counter spells we need. I guess I'll take Cruelty just in case. I want to make my opponent's counter or counter my opponent's stuff. I'm going to take the Grim Contest here, which is just a good card. All right, whatever. So we've got a pretty nice-looking deck. It's got plenty of removal, a little bit uh, finisher light, but I think that's actually okay with the Construct and the Retainer. So now I just have to sort of figure out which, which two cards I want to cut. I'm, I'm kind of thinking the Contradict is, is going to get the boot here. It's certainly a fine card, but I think I can do... I think I'm doing better without it. And probably the same goes for the Marsh Hulk, too. With Huge Stone Retainer, Construct... Although, I guess Ugin's Construct is, like, more reason to play Marsh Hulk because you can morph it. But I think I, I'm just going to end up not wanting it. So let's cut Contradict and let's cut uh, the Marsh Hulk. Let me separate stuff here. So this is really like 16 creatures with the Ojitai's Summons. Our removal is Defeat, Flatten, Deathwind. 
Merciless Executioner, Double Coat with Venom, sort of. Yeah, it's not bad. And I guess Ruthless Death Fang with the sack effects. Like, that would have been a good reason to take the second Executioner, but I still think Surveyor is pretty bonkers. Getting Evasion plus Bounce a Guy is just really nice. I love the Surveyor. Um, and yeah, actually Construct 2 works well with Death Fang. Yeah, Construct's actually really nice in this deck. We, we kind of needed some more finishers, and I think that's going to do it for us. So what are our actual ways to kill our opponent? It's Death Fang, Summons, Retainer, Construct, and maybe some a couple other flyers. But I guess we're a little bit finishing power light. So is there something I want to do about that? I mean, getting no Palace Familiars and no Youthful Scholars is a bit of a bummer, too. It's, those are kind of the highlights of uh, playing blue-black. I mean, I, we did get an Emissary, which is a good value sacrifice. And we did get uh, Dutiful Attendant, which is a value sacrifice as well. But I would have liked some card draw ones. I still think Enhanced Awareness is, is right for this deck. I just feel like we can power out spells pretty easily for the most part. I kind of want to find a way to bring Marsh Hulk back in. Mostly because, like I said, we're a little bit finishing power light. Maybe justifying cutting... I don't know. I kind of like everything. Even like Minister of Pain can be really useful main deck against those certain, you know, aggressive decks. Especially with double shambling goblin. You exploit a goblin, give all your opponents stuff minus one, minus one, and then an additional minus one, minus one. So it's like wipe their board and maybe, you know, kill a bunch of X1s and maybe kill an X2 as well. Just can be really useful. And actually, Huge Stone Retainer works really well with Rebound, which is nice nice as well. Um, but that's our only Rebound spell, unfortunately. But still, we have so many 1-drops and 2-drop spells that Huge Stone Retainer, I think, is, is going to be fairly easy to cast for us. Um, maybe we just forego the Marsh Hulk. Maybe it's, it's probably not that big of a deal. All right, we'll sort by color... Much more black than blue, but our blue has double blue in it, so I think we're going to want at least eight uh, blue. Something like this. Yeah, I think this makes sense. Um, I like our deck a lot, actually. I think this is a cool deck. It's certainly not the best deck I've ever drafted, but it's uh, got some it's got some pretty powerful stuff in it, so uh Good removal. Yeah, Silmgar Assassin certainly counts as removal as well. With Double Coat with Venom is just really nice. So we'll see how this deck plays. I'm, I'm uh, anxious to see how it does. So, all right, we'll, uh, we'll see you round one.